There's no wedding like a royal wedding, and PBS is the place to see it. Join the Royal Wedding Watch, a week of special programming leading up to the ceremony, with host Meredith Vieira reporting from London. Then you are cordially invited to Windsor Castle for the royal wedding of England's Prince Harry and American Meghan Markle. Don't miss the Royal Wedding Watch. It's a fairy tale come true. The world will be watching on Saturday when Meghan Markle, the Los Angeles-born actress, marries Harry, Prince of Wales. Among the fanfare and pageantry, people are making comparisons to the wedding of another American actress turned princess, Grace Kelly. Grace was the girl from Philadelphia who went on to win an Academy Award and then marry one of the world's most eligible bachelors in 1956, Prince Rainier of Monaco. Their wedding was a spectacle, a public outpouring of love and a media frenzy. It was of epic proportions. But before Grace Kelly married Prince Rainier, there was another actress turned princess, and she was born here in Brooklyn. That actress, the legendary Rita Hayworth. Me? She was the number one pinup girl during World War II, and her impact on cinema still stands. Hayworth became a princess six years before Grace Kelly, when she married Prince Ali Khan, the son of the Aga Khan, spiritual leader of 15 million Muslims. Prince Ali Khan was then the heir to the, his father's throne, and Rita on her way to becoming a royal. Born Margarita Carmen Cancino in 1918, the love goddess, as she would come to be called, was the oldest child of two performers. Her mother wanted her to become an actress. Her father wanted her to become a dancer. They both had their way. In 1927, the family left Brooklyn to find fame in Hollywood. Rita's film career eventually took off, and at the height of her fame, she was one of the biggest stars of the 1940s. On screen, Hayworth is best known for her starring role in the classic film noir, Gilda. Put the blame on me, boy. Put the blame on me. Mame did a dance called the Hitchy Coo. That's the thing that slew my groove. Put the blame on me, boys. Put the blame on me. Fred Astaire, with whom Hayworth made two films, said Rita, not Ginger Rogers, was his favorite dance partner. Rita's starring role with then-husband Orson Welles and the lady from Shanghai was one that earned her critical praise. After that, I knew I couldn't trust him. He was mad. He had to be shot. And what about me? Well, we could have gone off together. Into the sunrise. You and me, or you and Grisby. I love you. One who follows his nature keeps his original nature in the end. In 1948, Rita caught the eye of Prince Ali Khan. Known as a great romantic and a womanizer of epic proportions, the prince was also married. He was dashing and by all accounts chased women all over the world, often having three or four lovers at a time. He was known in high society as the most promiscuous man in Europe. After seeing Rita Hayworth's famous pinup poster and hearing that she was vacationing in France, the Ali Khan sprung into action and went on a quest to have her. When they met, they both fell, hard. In the weeks that followed, the prince wooed Rita and swept her off her feet. She stayed at his seaside villa. He took her on a holiday to Spain. But after the whirlwind romance, Hayworth made her way back to California, and the prince followed. Not yet divorced from Orson Welles, Hayworth got pregnant, and Prince Ali Khan could not allow a child of his lineage to be born outside of wedlock. Understanding his son's plight, the Aga Khan allowed his son to divorce so he could marry Rita. The royal wedding was beyond extravagant. Held on the Riviera, guests feasted on 50 pounds of caviar and drank over 600 bottles of champagne. In 1949, Hayworth gave birth to a daughter, the Princess Yasmin Aga Khan. But by 1953, the marriage was over. 
Ali Khan's womanizing became too much for Rita, and she filed for divorce in 1952. The prince would go on to become the permanent representative of Pakistan to the United Nations, but would never ascend to the throne as Aga Khan. His divorce from Rita was one of many reasons that forced his father to deny him his birthright. A storybook royal romance it had been, a spectacular royal wedding it was, and a royally unhappy ending it had. But unlike Princess Grace, who has remained in modern popular culture as the American actress turned princess, and the next actress turned royal, Meghan, who currently has all the world's attention, Rita Hayworth's royal wedding is often forgotten. So to clear up any confusion, the little local girl, Margarita Carmen Cancino, who went on to become screen siren Rita Hayworth, was the first American actress to become a real-life princess. And it all started here in Brooklyn. Me, 